Hi and welcome everyone. In this lesson, we will talk about another type of uh, PV panels called the hybrid photovoltaic thermal panel or abbreviated as PVT. Now, this type of panels is used to uh, do two functions. Number one, it is used to uh, convert the electrical, uh, convert the sunlight into electrical power and at the same time it will provide us with um, with uh, heated water or uh, hot water so how does this type of panels work so first a standard photovoltaic panel converts 20 percent of the incoming solar light into electricity and the rest of the energy is uh, dissipated or lost as heat energy so, for example, if we have a PV panel with an efficiency of 20%, it will convert only 20% of the sunlight and the rest of this will be converted into heat energy uh, going to the PV cell. So, remember when we talked about the relation between current and voltage with respect to temperature. And we said that the temperature has a bad effect on uh, the solar panels. As temperature increases, the power generated will start going down, as the efficiency of the panel will also go down. Now, something which is really important here. When I talk about temperature here, I am talking about the temperature of the PV cell. Okay, so when we talk about STC, condition at 25 celsius degrees we are talking about the uh, temperature of the bv cell okay so when the temperature of the cell increases let's say in a hot weather it will be let's say 45 celsius degrees so when the temperature of the cell increases the power generated will be reduced okay so here, why does the temperature of the cell increases? Because the rest of the uh, PV, uh, ir uh, the rest of the sun irradiation is converted into heat energy transferred to the PV cell. Now, another thing is that in, in addition to being wasted or the heat energy is wasted, 80% not converted into uh, electrical power, this heat energy is also uh, detrimental to the solar panels photovoltaic efficiency which means it drops when the panel rises in temperature the same what i just said is that when the temperature increases this heat energy the heat energy leads to increase in the temperature of the pv cell this will lead to decrease in the efficiency of the photovoltaic panel so in order to solve this we have an a new technology called the hybrid photovoltaic thermal panel or called BVT a two-in-one solar technology this is is this uh, type of panels is uh, designed by a company called the dual Sun so the dual Sun or dual Sun company have uh, has one type of uh, PV panels called the spring hybrid panel now what does this do it does two functions number one in the front side of the pv panel we generate electrical power and in the left side or the back side in the back side or the rear side the extra energy which is the heat energy in the pv cell uh, is transferred uh, to a circulating uh, water using a heat exchanger so this will lead to reduction in the temperature of the PV panel and at the same time it will provide us with uh, hot water or uh, heat energy uh, for uh, residential uh, purposes. So let's understand this idea. So let's delete all of this first. So we have our PV panel which is a spring here. In the front side we convert the electricity or the sunlight into electrical power by using the uh, monocrystalline side on the back side we have 
large heat energy inside the cells so in the back side we added heat exchanger you can see lots of tubes here these are tubes in which we input we add some water cold water that will go through the pv cells it will go through the system so the heat energy inside the pv cells or the pv panel will be transferred to the tubes here and in the end we will be able to get hot water so as you can see here in this figure you can see we uh, added from here cold water that will go through the hot uh, pv panel and then it will provide us with uh, hot water from this side this heated water or hot water will go through the building uh, or the, re the residential building to provide uh, hot water for the uh, building okay so we did here two functions number one converted uh, sunlight into electrical energy number two we're using the heat exchanger in on the back side we provided hot water to residential building so we don't need any type of uh, heaters inside the building itself okay uh, another thing is that when the heat energy is transferred to the cold water the temperature of the pv panel will start going down which means the efficiency of the panel will increase and the more uh, electrical power is generated okay so water flow has two benefits number one dual heat as the water can reach a temperature of up to 70 celsius degree and it will cover the building's various heating needs number two dual post uh, the water also calls the photovoltaic cells and improves the electricity output by between 5 to 15 percent depending on the usage now how does this uh, pv panel looks like it looks like this the spring this is the front side and this is the back side in the back side you input water from one tube like this and it will go through the pv panel you can see this part is a junction box and in the end you will get hot water from the other side okay so the dual sun spring is an example of a hybrid solar panel that produces uh, both electricity and hot water making it more efficient than standard pv panel uh, so they are used to maximize energy generated by the sun by using pv cell and solar thermal collectors so solar thermal collectors what do they do this they are used to uh, provide hot water so for example we have tubes in reality the solar thermal collectors only we have large tube that contains water uh, cold water and due to the irradiation coming from the sun this water will start getting heated and after this water gets heated it will go to the building okay now another thing is that we sometimes use heat exchanger for example the sun itself uh, heats a tube filled with oil and then the oil will be exchanged with the um, with the water okay so depending on the system itself the pv cells convert the sunlight into electricity while solar while solar thermal collectors absorb the heat from the sun and use it to heat water or air and to be more specific it absorbs heat from what from the pv panels the high temperature from the pv panels okay and this is a, a figure that we talked about so in this lesson we talked about another type of PV panels called the hybrid photovoltaic uh, thermal panel.